So I recently interviewed with Amazon for SG2 role and in this video I am going to share everything about the whole process like how the recruiter found me, the difficulty level of the interview, the questions they asked me in every round, did they reimburse my Uber expense, how was the lunch at their cafeteria, what time did the interview end, when did I hear back from them, we have a lot to discuss so let's get started. So little background, this was not the first time I interviewed for Amazon. Last I interviewed for Amazon for SD1 role in 2017 when Amazon came to my college for campus hiring. I was really really close that time. Three students is the final round including me and finally they selected two people only. So I interviewed again in February 2020 when the world was normal and the offices were open. Till March 2020, I was working for India's biggest startup and in December 2019, I thought of switching companies for obvious reasons. So I started preparing for data structures, algorithms, system design and everything else that is required. I have made another video regarding what all you need to prepare, link in the description below. So one day in mid-January, I received a LinkedIn message from an Amazon recruiter asking if I am interested in an SD2 role at Amazon. So without any hesitation, I replied that yes, I am interested in this role. That's why you should always keep your LinkedIn profile updated and having some recruiter connections is very important if you're looking for a job. Then she asked me for my phone number and then for the next one hour, she explained to me everything about the interview process. Like what should I expect in the interview, what kind of rounds there would be, how many rounds there would be, what is my preferred location. And she asked me about my work experience and the systems that I have worked on. And she definitely wasn't a typical recruiter as you might see in other companies. I mean, she knew about design patterns, she knew about solid principles, she knew about all the AWS services, she knew about all the data structures like heap and trees, and all the object-oriented principles like interfaces, polymorphism, she knew all about it. Yes, I was as surprised as you are right now. Maybe she knows about design patterns more than me, I won't be surprised at this point. After the call, I received a link to an online test which I had to attempt by Sunday and this call happened around Wednesday or Thursday. So this was a link to the AIMCAT website which you might have heard of. So I attempted the test on Saturday and it had two problems which I had to solve in 90 minutes. Difficulty level I would say for one problem it was medium difficulty and for the other problem it depends on how much practice you have. So I would place it between uh, medium to tough difficulty level. So first problem was based on Dijkstra's algorithm. If you have enough practice of Dijkstra, then it would be very easy for you to solve it. And the second question was based on dynamic programming where I was given a matrix and I had to find the shortest distance from the uh, source cell to the destination cell and there were some obstacles that I could not step on. If you have enough practice of these kind of problems then it would be very easy for you to solve this otherwise it could be a little tricky. So I was able to solve both these problems in the given time and based on whatever experience I have of giving online tests I would say this was a little tougher than the tests I have given before as in it did not just have string or array problems but this had uh, graph and dynamic programming problems so I would say this was a little tough and you need to be prepared for this. So after 2-3 days I got a call from the recruiter that I have cleared the online test and they are inviting me to their hiring drive which will happen 25 days later and all the remaining rounds will take place on that day. How many rounds? That depends on how I perform but on maximum there will be 5 rounds. They gave me 25 days for preparation so that we don't get to blame them later on. So the recruiter called me a day before the hiring dive to confirm if I was coming and they were kind enough or rich enough to offer me a cab from my place to their office but I politely denied it as the office was not very far from my place. They said okay and I should reach their office at 10 am sharp. So I reached there around 9 am because why not. I didn't want to be late for this and there's no problem in being too early and imagine my surprise there was nobody there at 9 am except some security guards and a receptionist. So I waited there for 2 hours and people started coming in and slowly around 25 other candidates came in and my first round started at 12. First problem was a matrix based problem where I was given a matrix of zeros and ones and I had to go from the source cell to the destination cell along the shortest path by traversing only the cells with one as their value. And there was another added condition that I can change any one zero to one along the way. So this is a variant of breadth first search and I was able to solve this by making some tweaks to the standard BFS solution. For second problem I was given an array of zeros, ones and twos and then I had to sort it. 
Some people call it as the Dutch national flag algorithm. I have no idea why, but they changed the problem a little bit and I had to place all the ones first, then zeros and then twos. It sounds like a minor change, but this changed the whole problem and it turned it from a Dutch flag to a Bhutan flag. After taking some time, I was able to think of the solution, but there was not enough time left for me to code it. And I was a little disappointed with myself for this. And then during the last 10 minutes of every round, Amazon asked some questions on their leadership principles. How to prepare for that? I've already explained in another video, you can check out in the description below. And they asked me two questions on leadership principles and that was it for this round. Overall, I would rate this on a difficulty level of 4 out of 5 as I was stuck on one of the problems. And then came the most important part of the day which was lunch. I had not eaten anything since morning and also I was really nervous which was making me even more hungry. So the HR took everyone to the cafeteria and most part of the cafeteria was closed because it was a Saturday and they gave standard Indian thali to everyone and it really gave some energy back into my body. I knew the next rounds were going to be based on system design and I was sort of really scared about this as this was the first time in my life I was giving a system design interview. Before this I had only interviewed for junior engineer roles and all the interviews uh, for that revolved around uh, data structures and algorithms. So I was called for the second round which was high level system design round and I was asked to design Twitter. They first asked me to list down all the functional and the non-functional features present in Twitter and then one by one to explain how I would implement those features including how I would implement the feed and the follow, unfollow and like, unlike or retweet whatever it is. And then for every feature they discussed how I would design the API for it like what will be the request structure, what is, is going to be the response structure, which kind of database I will use and how the database will look like. And then they asked me to show how the system will look from 50 feet above. At first I didn't understand it. I mean why do you want to look at it from the top of a building? Does this even make sense? So finally after some discussion I got to know that he just wanted me to represent the whole system in terms of microservices architecture and how the request will flow through different services. Then they asked me other things like how I would implement user authentication and how I will scale the system as the number of users increase. Basically it was a healthy discussion and thankfully they did not counter question me as much as I was expecting them to. And if you have gone through all the standard system design problems then you will be easily able to answer all the questions. And then the last 10 minutes as every round were dedicated to leadership principles. Overall on difficulty level I would rate it as 3 out of 5. Then I was sent back to the waiting area and there was a word floating around that uh, if Amazon invites you for their on-site interviews then they will judge you for at least 2 rounds and then decide whether to proceed or not. I have no idea how true that is but at that time that sounded like something I could really believe. So I was nervously sitting there and then they called my name which was such a relief. And this round was based on object oriented design or as some people call it low level system design. So the round started and he asked me if I knew what is tic tac toe. I said yes but just to make sure I did not confuse it with anything else they showed me a YouTube video of tic tac toe. Then he asked me to make a low level design for this game. So I started by listing down all the classes, all their attributes and all the methods that those classes will have. And then they asked me some questions like why this class will be required, why is this method required, why is this parameter required. After he was convinced with all the classes and the methods he asked me to write down code for some of the methods that I had mentioned and I could use any language I wanted. And that went pretty well and the interviewer was quite engaging and he kept on guiding me if I, if I was thinking in the wrong direction. And then as other rounds uh, they asked me some questions on leadership principles and the round was over. On difficulty level again I would rate it as 3 out of 5 as the interviewer was quite engaging. After the design round I was pretty confident that I would be called for the next rounds and so I was. Uh, so I was called and when I stepped into the room, it was a pretty scary scenario to be fair. This time there were two interviewers who both looked like at least managers. They could be senior managers or even directors. I wouldn't be surprised as they both uh, were into their mid 30s. So it was quite intimidating environment when I first entered. But they made me quite comfortable from the beginning. They explained to me what are the responsibilities of their team. Uh, and what problems they are solving in their team and uh, and then they asked me for my introduction and what I have worked on. Then they asked me what is the most important project I have worked on in my current company and it all kicked on from there. Uh, so I started with a brief introduction about the project and an overview of the project and then they asked me to go to the whiteboard and draw the architecture of that project. And then I was asked some technical questions about the project 
like why a specific part was implemented the way it was like why i used no sql and not mysql or postgres and other similar questions and, and to be fair i could not explain everything convincingly uh, for the 80% of the questions i was comfortable in explaining them but for the rest 20% i definitely had some hiccups and then they came to the non technical questions like what was the size of the team working on the project what was my role in the team and did i have any disagreement with my lead on this and what did i learn the most from the project and you need to go prepared for these questions you cannot just simply give your best answer on the spot i have seen people ignoring preparation for these type of questions before going to the interview all these questions covered the leadership principles and the behavioral questions on a difficulty level i would rate it as 4 out of 5 as there are some good counter questions and they were both very experienced interviewers After this round was over I was really very exhausted as it was already 6 in the evening and I had been there since 9 in the morning and after just 2 minutes this round was over I was called for another round and at that time I was like you better select me now so I gathered some energy and went for this round so this was a bar is a round which was like a miscellaneous round and it was not confined to one domain like data structures or system design and they kept on asking me question after question which rather felt like a rapid fire question answer round and to be fair there wasn't much counter questioning on my answers and these questions were like what has been your favorite project you have ever worked on be it personal or professional and to draw its high level architecture and then he asked me about the design patterns i know and a real life example where i have used these design patterns then he asked me about solid principles what things do i check for in a code review why do i want to work for amazon why do i want to leave my current company and many more similar questions which i don't exactly remember by now as i had really gone into autopilot mode by then and i was really really exhausted and then he finally ended it with a simple algorithm problem where i had to reverse a linked list not exactly reverse a linked list just a variation of that i took some time to realize it was just a variation of that problem and then i solved it on a difficulty level i would rate it as 3.5 out of 5 and then i was finally asked to go home and wait for their call so i came back home around 8 in the evening and i was expecting that they would take at least 3 to 4 days uh, to get back if they would i wouldn't say i was really confident after the interview because you can never tell what the interviewer is thinking and what he decides but i knew i definitely didn't do too bad and i was around 60% sure in my head that i would get selected but just after 1 hour around 9 pm i received a mail that i was selected and they need my documents for processing my offer letter and other formalities i was really surprised by how quick the whole decision making process was and i was really happy that my hard work finally paid off and now i can finally relax so that was it for the video if you liked it please don't forget to hit the like button and for more such videos hit the subscribe button and if you have any queries or any doubts feel free to post in the comment section